Hi Fiber friends, welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. I'm Emily and I'm the Botanical Knitter if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. I have a bunch of fun footage today, so I'm going to spend more time on that, but wanted to check in with you quick to open one of my advents and to share some knitting updates. Earlier today, I met with a few knitting friends at one of my favorite plant shops of all time, Lost in the Forest, and we had a little holiday gift exchange and snacks and knitting. This plant shop, I discovered it last year, Black Friday, and have gone many a time since, and I've included footage of it before on previous episodes. They moved to a new space and it is huge, giant, like at least twice the size of their old shop. And a couple weeks back, I saw that they had posted like, come work at Lost in the Forest. Like if you work remote, come work with us. So I messaged and asked how much seating space they had. And they definitely have like a little back classroom-ish area. And so I asked if they would host our knitting holiday party and they said yes. So it was very peak me, I loved it. It was a great time. We did a mystery skein swap. So everybody brought a wrapped skein from their stash and we picked numbers and in order you just went and picked a gift, the wrapping that you liked best. I went with the green wrapping paper with the red trucks and I got green yarn. So I feel very happy with this. It's the Louette brand, Louette brand. Gems. Um, it's 100% merino wool, super wash, fine sport weight. And I think this would make a really nice pair of mitts or I think mitts and maybe a hat too. There's enough yardage there, I think. So that was very fun. I de-stashed a coast to coast skein that I have a little regret over, but that's how I know it's a good one is that I think the person who got it will like it too. So you saw me open my scrappy Advents day 10 while I was at the plant shop. It's a very neutral brown, almost a tan. And so I started knitting on that with my anthology throw. So that is well on its way. I also was able to pick up the two skeins of yarn that I purchased from Courtney. My husband's cooking, there's the oven. I got two skeins of Courtney's Autumn Leaves base, fingering in Surrey, and then I'm gonna hold it for DK for a special knitting project that's coming up. So love those two. I also, while we were at Lost in the Forest, bought a new plant pot and a new trellis for my elbow, Syngorium elbow. Uh, so I have some footage of me repotting that because it was starting to get really droopy and needed a little bit more support in a deeper pot. So I checked that off my to-do list while also having fun. All right, let's open up day 10 of my Naughty Pine Advent. This colorway is grizzly. Oh, so pretty. I love those dark speckles. I was telling my husband and a couple of the friends today, I was like, I know I said I was gonna do a sweater with these, but I am loving knitting this anthology throw so much that I think 20 gram, like full 20 gram minis of this really neutral earth toned advent as a blanket would be gorgeous. Like something I would have on display in my house for sure because it would match my aesthetic. So I might not rush into the sweater and see how I like the anthology once it's done and blocked and if it's everything I liked it and I'll go from there. Okay, I also uh, already did my socks this morning, got up, watched um, some soccer this morning. And so here is day 10 of the Woolens and Nash. Let's see if it'll focus. There. I love this one. And then day 10 of Freckled Whimsy. Another green. Come on. There. So those are, I really enjoy just the morning routine of getting those done. During the work week, I've been saving them for night because I'm not getting as much knitting time in the morning. And that's great. I'm pleased with myself for keeping up. 
All right, no really other knitting to share. I worked a little bit on, m on my brother's hat last night on my classic, but I did wanna talk to you about what I'm wearing. So this is the Funfetti Raglan by Andragon, and I'm really happy with it. It got a little bit, it was a little bit of a slog near the middle of it, but I only think it's because I had other things I wanted to start. Like I was so eager to keep knitting, not because it, this wasn't fun to knit. I learned a ton, especially doing the one by one color work through increases um, and doing color work through short rows. I did, I did color work on the pearl side for the first time. So that was really nice. And I'm really happy with the colors I picked out. This might still, maybe after a couple of wears, I'll give it to my brother, but for now I'm really liking it. Um, the coolest thing was that braiding technique. And I had a video of that a couple days ago. So one of the braids is here, one of the braids is here, and then one of the braids is here but it really does not bother me at all. It is warm because of the layer because you're carrying yarn the whole time, but it's, it's really nice. It reminds me of like that classic 90s dad sweater, which I really like. It feels very Christmassy to me. So maybe I will take the pressure off myself to rush into knitting a sweater by Christmas and just really wear this. So yeah. Anyways, had a great day today. Tomorrow is gonna to be a really busy day. I have to be down in St. Paul by 8.30 for a legislative thing. It'll be fine. But then my parents come up this week. So I'll talk more about that in another episode. You'll get to maybe see my parents. Sorry if you can hear the crinkling. My husband is cooking lunches for the week. I'm gonna go for a walk and get my 30 minutes of movement in. And I will talk to you on day 11 of Vlogmas. Me again, before I go for a walk, I forgot to share a gift that I got. Stephanie at Edible Thoughts Makes uh, came along today. It was really great to see her there. And she gifted me one of her bags. If you follow her Instagram or you follow along on her YouTube channel, you know that she sews all of her project bags. And a lot of the times they coordinate with what she's making. And I've always had a little bit of like, I want one of Stephanie's bags and now I have one. So thank you, Stephanie. Here's the inside of it. And it has her tag, <sighs> sugar cookies. So I think I'm gonna, I think this means I get to cast on something else, right? Cause I need to put a project in it. So maybe this will be for the hot water bottle cover. You'll see later, but I just wanted to share this. Thanks, Stephanie.